Well, they're back at it again. Four Gate Whiskey Company with batch 16, the Rye Down Under. How is this going to shake out versus some of the other batches? We'll find out today. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much as always for joining today. Greatly appreciate all the support. So today we're taking a look at batch 16 from Four Gate Whiskey Company, Rye Down Under. So first and foremost, as you'll see a little kind of interesting twist that uh, they always try to kind of put a little spin on something and they've kind of uh, inverted the under portion considering it's Australia, Down Under. What exactly is this? So this is coming in at 110.2 proof or 55.1% ABV. Mash bill on this, so this is gonna be an MGP 95.5 uh, rye malted barley. Uh, it is um, age stated as a minimum of seven years, and the MSRP on this one's gonna come in right around that $185 price point. So uh, what is this finished in? So this is an Australian Apera Sherry cask. It's a little bit between like an Oloroso and a PX, so not, you know, super earthy, not super sweet, kind of a combination of both. So we'll see what this finish kind of uh, imparts on this rye whiskey. So let's go ahead and get into today's review. So color wise, as you can see, I mean, this sucker is, it is deep. I mean, it is like a deep mahogany type of color. So I mean, that Apera Sherry is really putting its influence uh, on this rye whiskey. So, all right, let's get into the nose. So like right away, my first thought is this, like sweet pipe tobacco note. There's a really nice, I mean, sherry influence that's there. It's buttery, it, it's, it smells viscous, like it's very hearty. I mean, that sherry note is very, very present. And again, these aren't overcooked either. This is just the influence of a fantastic um, sherry barrel influencing the 95.5 rye whiskey so this is where these two put together hopefully they will shine so far it's uh really nice on the nose really nice kind of like a fresh cinnamon i don't want to quite say like a cinnamon red hot but there's a fresh cinnamon note that's there rye begins to kind of come through a little bit more as you kind of get through some of the sherry influence Touch of mint there as well. Maybe like a green or black tea, so there's a little bit of a, an herbal characteristic. Maybe even a little bit of like a honey note, like a honey graham cracker note, something along those lines. And here's what I'll say, like a coffee ground. So like if you've ever brewed a, a, a fresh pot of coffee, you kind of smell or get that richness uh, right away from kind of the coffee grounds. That's kind of what I'm getting with this a little bit as well. And maybe it's kind of a combination of that and like a, a bittersweet chocolate. But yeah, a little bit more of that honey, honey graham cracker on the nose. Definitely some mint, nice medium oak on that. Uh, you're not losing the rye in the, in the sherry cask at all in this. Early on, it was that sweetness. Then the rye kind of started to take over. So it'll be interesting as we get into the, the, the taste part of it what the influence really is. And well, let's not waste any more time. Let's kind of dive into that right now. Cheers, guys. Wow. So the one thing I'll say right away is the mouth feel on it. It's very viscous, very oily. Wants to really coat the entire mouth. So that's really setting up for what it is you're about ready to taste. The one thing I'll say with this is Outside of the sherry being kind of dominant on the nose right away, I'm still hit with the influence of the rye whiskey. So I picked up a little bit right away of more of the, the mint. So you've got a nice aged uh, rye whiskey, but a little bit more of that, that mint that's kind of coming through on this. But there's the heavy dark fruit. So I think now as it's beginning to kind of sit on the, on the palate a little bit, the, the earthiness of that Australian Apera Sherry is starting to be a little bit more present. So the dark fruit aspect is kind of starting to, to shine on this one a little bit. 
maybe even like a a dark chocolate. I got more of that bittersweet chocolate on the nose. This is more of a sweeter chocolate, maybe even a little bit of cherry. So there's a little bit of like a like a cherry cordial uh, note on this one as well. Definitely some cinnamon that's there. And it's more of a fresh cinnamon. It's never never like an artificial cinnamon where it can be kind of off-putting. It's not that what whatsoever. It's a really nice, you know, fresh kind of baker's, you know, cinnamon, if that makes any sense. Again, still you're getting a little bit of that kind of vanilla on this as well. Here is where some of the rye is beginning to kind of shine through. So I think you're still getting that nice influence of the 95.5 with the accent of the a pair of sherry. So you get a little bit of that earthy characteristic with some of the kind of like medium to light dark fruit influence. Maybe even a little hint of like an orange creamsicle on that as well. Definitely a little bit more of the, the black pepper kind of as the finish begins to develop on this one. Still that earthiness of the of the Apera Sherry is still there with the influence of that 95.5. So again, there's a nice balance of the two. You're not losing, you know, one in the other. There, there's a really nice um, complement of, of flavors for, for both of these. So they're working really, really well together on, on this one. The one thing I'll also say is there's a little bit of a, a dusty... Or, or an aged oak presence on this one as well. And maybe this is this is from the earthiness of the of the sherry and maybe some of the oak or a combination of both. But you do get a little bit of that kind of like old uh, dusty uh, funkiness that's that's there in in a, in a good way. I think it's just a another influence that the sherry it, and possibly the barrel is having on that rye whiskey. So this is one of the things where it's fun to sit down, take your time with a, a whiskey and, and just kind of enjoy it. Enjoy the different layers that it may have to offer. And this is one that hopefully, you know, when you sit down with this, you'll start to really kind of pull out some of those fun and interesting things as well. So the more I talk, the more that dark, you know, dark fruits start to even come out in this one a little bit. Slight dryness that's there. Typically, I get that with with sherry. There's a little bit of a drying aspect that you get with a sherry influence. So um, not surprised to see that kind of show up kind of towards the the end of this as well. But still that lingering kind of cherry cordial, some mint, some nice sweet oak, nice spice on this. That again, that oak influence, the earthiness from from that sherry cask. There's a nice balance to all of it. Um, you know. As it kind of really begins to kind of develop and sits on the palate and the finish is there, you really understand kind of how, you know, decadent, how enjoyable this rye whiskey finished in Australian Apera Sherry casks really is. I mean, it's very, very enjoyable. And I think one of the things I'll say is that with a lot of their whiskeys, allowing these to open up or give them some time to, again, to get a little bit of air and maybe even before you start to kind of sip on it, if you can give it five or 10 minutes before you dive into it, I, th I think it really does the whiskey some justice with a lot of the four gate stuff. So um, again, this is just another fine example of a finished whiskey that four gate has put out there and I don't think anybody is going to be disappointed, especially if you enjoy a really nice sherry finished uh, rye whiskey. I think this is going to be a, a, a must have for you. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one really begins to kind of develop as this begins to kind of work its way down in the bottle a bit. I have a really strong feeling that this bottle is going to improve even more. There you have it from Four Gate Whiskey Company, uh, batch 16, rye down under, and a pair of sherry finished uh, 95.5 uh, MGP rye whiskey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Greatly appreciate all of the support. If you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. 
Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel and become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, uh, make sure you check the Patreon link uh, in the description below. All the details there for that. So with that being said, remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.